Okay, measures 37 through 40, left hand. Okay, so we've got a fifth here, <laughs> five and one. And you're just, you've got the G on the bottom, then G on the top. Okay, then you go back down. Okay, here's what I should show you. The D Descending bass line. So you've got G. These are half notes. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then you go to octaves. Okay. Mm -hmm. So to, for you to get the structure. Now, you have your choice of fingerings here. You can either go five and one and just pop up to one. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Or you could go two and five. I would do the five and one just because you're going to keep extending the intervals and it won't be possible to keep that up. So five and one, pop up to G, then you go to a sixth. So the top is still D, bottom is now F. Still popping up to the G. That's a constant on the top. Okay, another sixth. So now you're moving the whole hand down to E on the bottom, C on the top. This time when you pop up to the G, you're also going to play the third below it. Okay, do you hear that? G with your thumb, E with two. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to make it C minor. So your left pinky has gone down to E flat. When you pop up to the G, it will have an E flat on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to do that whole sequence. This is measured 37 and 38, left hand. Let's look at what the right hand does for measures 37 and 38. So, um, I, all, I have a B on the bottom. Okay, do you hear that arpeggio? I'm just starting and ending on B and filling with the D and the E, the uh, D and the G. So one, two, four, five, right? And then we move that whole shape up a second. And now we have C, F, A, C. Then we move the shape up another second. D, G, B, D. So I'll play just measure 37, right hand. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we do measures 38, measure 38. The intervals are gonna change. Instead of a fourth on the bottom, okay, hang on a second. Okay, so what we just played, D, G, B, D. You've got a fourth on the bottom, a third, and a third, right? Fourth, mm -hmm. third, third. Okay, so now we've got fourth, fourth again, second. Okay, mm -hmm. D, G, C, D. Now we're going to pop down a second. C, E, G, C. Pop down a second again. B, E flat, G, B. Pop down a second. A, E, I'm sorry. A, C, E, oops, I'm sorry, E flat. A, C, E flat, A. Okay, so let me play measure 38, right hand. Measures 37 and 38 slowly with the hands together. And you want the melody is in your thumb, right? So yeah. I'll try to bring that up better.
Okay, let's go on. To 39. So we just did this with the left hand. Okay, so we're now arriving at measure 39. D, B with five and one. I'm popping up with my thumb to D, then octave C, octave B, octave A. Okay, and then here's a seventh, A to E, A to G. Octave D, D7. Okay, so those are, here are the two measures together with left hand. Measures 39 and 40 with the right hand alone. So, um, we are starting on G octaves. And now we're going downward. Okay, do you hear that? G octaves and then D, three on D, two on B, thumb on G. So it's pretty easy. So you're gonna do that twice. And we still have our melody in our thumb, by the way. Huh. The previous two measures, we are going upward, both melody and thumb. Well, that wasn't too good. Right, and now we're doing melody in the thumb, but coming down. And I haven't shown you the rest, so I should probably do that. So, okay, then you pop up to A octaves, A, E with three, C with two, A with one. Then you pop up to B and do the same thing. Okay, do you see that, pat hear the pattern? This is awkward for me. That's not awkward, the A is awkward. I don't know why, but it, it is awkward with three and awkward with four. Okay, what helps me is if I let go of the A really quickly with my pinky. Okay, and then do it with B. And that fingering is going to be 5, 4, 2, 1. Now let's just continue. Then up, pop up to C. Then D. E. F sharp. Okay, let's look at the intervals here. So we've got C. Three on G, two on E, one on C. Then you pop to D, four on C, two on G, one on D. Pop to E, four on C, two on G, one on E, F sharp, three on D, two on C, thumb on F sharp. A quick change in measures 37 through 40. I looked at the fingering again in measure 39, third beat. And we had said, okay, this is the A minor. So you've got an octave A. Then with the third finger E, second finger C, and thumb back on A. And I had we had said last week, obviously five and one. And then three, two, one. And I miss this a lot, um, pretty consistently. So I'm thinking, at least for me, it's not a good fingering. Um, in order to get this, I have to kick out my elbow to get that three. And actually that works okay. But I found I'm more consistent, more consistently accurate if I use four and just pop down like this. Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, great. So I'm just I'm just contracting my hand and using four two one here again. Okay, just a suggestion. You might want to try that. See which works 41. better. Forty one. Left hand. We're on octave G's. This is the lowest G on the piano. Then we're gonna pop up. Okay, the next G higher is gonna be the middle of the. G triad in second inversion. Okay, 
G, D, G, B, 5, 2, 1, root position, 5, 3, 1, 5, 3, 1, so, then we go to F, okay, these are um, G7 chords, lowest F on the piano, plus the octave above it. Then we're popping up um, so that we're doing the D below middle C, okay? Five, three, two, one. Five, four, two, one. Five, three, two, one. Is this too fast? No. Okay, so here's how it sounds. Okay, now we go to the lowest E flat on the piano octave above also. So E flat octave. We're popping up so that our thumb is on the E flat above middle C. Okay. Our pinky's on G. Third finger on B flat. Second finger on middle C. So it's G, B flat, middle C, E flat. These are D octaves, C octaves. I'll play that all together. This is measure 43. I'll do it one more time. This is very you play, cool. You play that chord twice? Yes. Oh, yeah, gotcha. You do play it twice. Mm -hmm. So here. Blasting around on the <laughs> low part of the piano. It's very entertaining. Okay, then we do lowest F on the piano. Okay, which it goes exactly where you could expect it to to B flat because B flat is the next key we're going to, and we're going to end in B flat actually, okay. which is a, not where you'd expect to go. Right hand measure 41 through 44. Okay, we're on a G triad, doubled on the top, G above middle C. One, two, three, five. Whoa. Okay, do you hear what I'm doing? So it's one, two, three, five. Mm -hmm. Quarter note. Then you repeat it, walk up to A octave, next inversion, so B, D, G, B. One, two, four, five. Pop up to D. Same root position doubled on the top, an octave higher now. Do you hear the pattern? Mm -hmm. So we're doing it here. Walk, inversion. Okay, it's actually pretty easy. Yeah. Then we come back to the G above middle C. I use my third finger on F, on D. Okay. Another G on the top. Uh, maybe that's not so good. Okay, I, I change it. Take it back. One, two, five. Yeah. One, two, five. So you can go into the A octave. First inversion, so we've got B, D, G, B. Pop up to D. One, two, five. Now we go downward. And we've got a minor chord. Isn't that cool? cool? Yeah. Then you'll do the same chord an octave lower. show you what's happening there. So we did this already. Let, let me start at 41. So we did this. I don't think I took you through this very well. So go down an octave. One, two, five. One, two, four, five. One and five, obviously. Yep. Then up. One, two, five. 
one and five, then you go down a second, one, two, three, five. C minor, okay. Then you go down an octave, up a second, one, two, four, five, one and five, one, two, four, five, do you hear that? E flat. E flat, uh-huh. Back to C minor. together. 